Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I will show you how to make this cool text animation. In the first part of the video I show you how to create the animation in Blender. In the bonus part of the video I show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Then let's get started Art Invaders, first delete the cube, the camera and the light with the X button. Then go to the top bar to add and insert some text. Then go to transform on the right side and rotate the text 90 degrees in the X axis. Now select the text and go into edit mode. Now you can write a term of your choice. I choose please stay. Then go to object data properties. Under paragraph, then alignment you can center the text. Under font you select a font of your choice. I take Virtual Rave. I find the link in the caption. Under Spacing, then Character Spacing you can set the spacing. I choose 1.150. For Extrude enter 1.84 meters. For Bevel go to Round and select 0.02 meters. Switch back to Object Mode and go to Add and Insert a Camera. Move it manually in front of the text. Under Transformation delete all rotation values and give it rotation x 100 degrees. Under Output Properties you can now choose a suitable format. I take 1080 times 1080 pixels. Enter for location Z minus 4 comma 5. Under Output Data Properties I select 41mm for Focal Length and 0.95 for Shift Y. Now we come to the animation. Select the text and press with the right mouse button on it and select Convert to Mesh. Go to the Modifier Properties. Save the file now, it can be that your computer hangs. Select Remash and enter under Voxel, Voxel Size 0.01m. Now insert a Displace Deformer. There select Z for Direction and 0.05 for Strength. Now create a new texture. Now go to Texture Properties and select Wood under Type. At Pattern select Ring Noise, at Size select 10 and Tubulance 0. Now go to Modifier Properties again and select a second Displace Modifier. Set Direction to X and Strength to 0.1. Under Texture you select the already created texture. Now go back to the Modifier Properties and select a third Displace Modifier. There you set Direction to Y and Strength to 0.015 and Mid-Level to 0. Under Texture you select the already created texture. Now we shorten the animation to 150 frames. Then we go to the Texture Properties and animate the Tubulance value. We move the slider of the animation to the beginning of the animation and set a keyframe by pressing on the point. Then we move the slider to the end of the animation and enter 50 for Turbulence and set another keyframe so that the animation runs all the time in the same speed we go to the graph editor now. There we select the animation curve and go to key, interpolation mode and press linear. Now we come to the material, first we split the view in two, go to the side until A plus appears and drag the window to the side. Then you go to the Shader Editor 4. Create a new material. There you set Metallic to 1 and Roughness to 0, 0,1.
Then switch to the world mode. Search for environment texture and insert a picture of your choice. I choose an old graphic of mine. Press mirror ball. Then I duplicate the environment texture and insert a tree. After that I search for mix RGB and connect both environment textures. There we go to soft light and set the fact value to 0 0.8. At background we set strength to 1.5. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can find there the whole project files. You can find the link in the caption. To give the graphics a stronger dynamic, we animate the environment texture. For this we search for mapping and geometry and connect them as follows. The Z value under rotation we animate now. Go to the beginning of the animation and set a keyframe with the right mouse button. Then go to the end of the animation and enter for rotation Z, 90 degrees and set another keyframe. Finally we go to the camera and go to the render properties. There we check ambient occlusion and increase distance to 0 0.5. We also check Bloom and set Knee to 1. Finally we go to Film and set a check mark at Transparent Background. That's it, the animation is ready to render. You can press the Command key and F12. Now we come to the bonus part of the video where I explain you how to edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Please note. I use basic effects in Adobe After Effects, there are no plugins. Some effects are in English in Adobe After Effects and some are in your native language. I don't know what's the reason is, but you can try to search for the effect in your languages, if you can't find the effect I use. By double clicking in the layers window you can paste the finished PNG sequence into Adobe After Effects. Then search for the effect hue slash saturation. There you select the value of 30 under master saturation. Now we add a background. For this we go to the layer window and press with the right mouse button on it and go to new, then solid. We select black for the background. After that we set the blending mode of the animation to lighten. Then we look for the effect select as color. Then we go to black and darken the whole animation. Then we look for the effect diffuse glow. There we set the glow mix to 45. After that we search for edge glow and set a check mark at colorize and select a color from the animation. Set the opacity to 50%. Finally we search for the effect tubulance displace. We set the slider to the beginning of the animation and enter 0 for amount and press the clock to set a keyframe. Then we go to the middle of the animation and enter for amount minus 75. Finally we move the slider to the end of the animation and enter 0 for amount. After that we go back to the beginning of the animation and press the clock at evolution. Then we move the slider to the end of the animation and enter 1 for rotation. Now I work with overlays. First I put a star animation and move it behind the animation. Then I set the blending mode to add. After that we press the key P to animate the position. I set a keyframe at the beginning of the animation. Then I move the slider to the end of the animation and move the position down so it looks like the text is flying upwards. Now we make a loop out of the animation. For this we double the animation layer and go to time, time reverse layer. Now we click in the layer window with the right mouse button and go to composition setting. There we double the length of the animation. We also duplicate the star animation. Move both layers to the end of the animation. Then I put a text over it and look for the effect in to adjust the color. Finally I put a destruction overlay over it and set the blend mode to lighten. The animation is ready, well done Arties, thanks for the positive feedback.
As a thank you I'll create 4 videos per week this month. Do you have ideas for new videos or would you like to know how other artists create certain animations? Feel free to DM me on TikTok or Instagram. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.